How to Remedy Violent Crimes in Wichita, Kansas The crime rates in Wichita are much higher than the state and national rates. 2020 Violent Crime Rates report that for 100,000 people in Wichita, there were 1,141 incidences compared to Kansas 346.4 and the U.S. level at 388 incidences for the same population. Violent crimes include murder, rape, robbery, and assault. Similar trends were evident in the property crimes section, including burglary, theft, and vehicle theft. There were 5,322 property crimes in Wichita per 100,000 people as compared to 2,199 and 1,958 at the state and national levels. Violent crimes require an urgent multifaceted approach that addresses the root cause of their high prevalence. One of the factors leading to higher crime rates in Wichita compared to Kansas and the U.S. is the limited number of law enforcers. Interestingly, the number of law enforcement officers in Wichita per 1,000 residents is lower than both in the state and the nation. According to the Wichita Police Department, there are 2.1 police officers for every 1,000 residents compared to 2.5 and 3.3 for Kansas and the U.S. It shows that Wichita trails the Kansas average and national average by 14.2% and 34.7% respectively. Wichita is, therefore, grossly understaffed, leading to less deterrence and increased criminal activities. The second factor causing high crime rates in Wichita is unemployment and poverty. According to statistics, the unemployment rate in Wichita is 4.3%, while the poverty level is 17.1% compared to Kansas 13.3%. It means that Wichita has a massive population of poor people, some of whom may resort to crime to earn a living. The high levels of poverty and unemployment could be the reason why violent crimes and property crime rates are soaring in Wichita. People living in abject poverty and employment experience high levels of stress. Since they have no proper ways of mitigating the severe stress, they end up with depression and engage in acts like assault, murder, and violent robbery. The third factor leading to high crime rates in Wichita is drug abuse and gang culture. In a recent crackdown on gang violence, dubbed Operation Triple Beam, the police seized 165 kilograms of narcotics. They also seized more than 200 firearms and more than $2,000 in cash. The Department of Justice believed that the operation was crucial for reducing violent crime in Wichita and would relieve the residents. The first measure that can deter crime in the area is identifying the hot spots and increasing the number of police officers patrolling the areas. A study showed that increasing police presence by around 50% caused an economically and statistically significant drop in up to 15% crime levels. Essentially, the ratio of police officers to residents should increase to at least 3.3 for every 1,000 residents to change the number of crimes committed. Increasing police presence would make it harder for criminals to commit felonies, hence acting as a deterrent to criminal activities. Apart from hiring more police for the area, it is vital to increase the funding for the police in the area. The police use different equipment to respond to crime, including police vehicles and stations, among other equipment. An adequately equipped police unit can work better in preventing crime. Studies indicate that when cities receive increased policing funding they hire more staff, compared to those that do not receive the grants. On average, the staffing levels increased by 3.2%, with a corresponding decrease of 3.5% in crime levels compared to the cities that did not receive the funding. In one study, the researchers concluded that for every $1 invested in policing, there is a corresponding $1.6 in social returns. Therefore, it would be essential to increase the Wichita Department of Police funding to decrease crime. Finally, reducing poverty and unemployment would be a good way of dealing with the crimes that arise from want. According to a recent study, unemployment and income inequality rates increase crime rates while trade openness decreases crime rates. Also, education and health reforms targeting the poor can reduce the crime rate in an area. It is, therefore, necessary for the administration of Wichita to invest in educational grants to increase access to education among the poor. A sound healthcare system would also help reduce the burden of poverty among the vulnerable in the community.
Apart from that, the administration can create a conducive environment for doing business through incentives like tax reliefs to help the poor establish income-generating enterprises. In conclusion, Wichita experiences high crime rates due to drug abuse, gang culture, poverty, and unemployment. Wichita requires a combination of measures that will deal with the root cause of the problems. Increasing the police ratio to the number of residents and the police funding will help reduce crime in Wichita. There's also the need to invest in social welfare like improved health care, educational grants, and openness to trade which are vital in reducing poverty and unemployment levels.